the world's top 10 most expensive artworks. In this video, we will take a closer look at the world's top 10 most expensive artworks and discuss the significance of these immensely valuable pieces in the art world. One Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi, 450 million Leonardo da Vinci's most controversial work, Salvatore Mundi also holds the title of the most expensive painting ever sold. Created in the early 1500s, it is believed to have been commissioned for the French monarchy and depicts a young Jesus making a blessing gesture with one hand while holding a transparent orb in the other. Painted using oil on canvas, the authenticity of the artwork has been debated, with some questioning whether it truly belongs to Leonardo da Vinci. However, renowned curators generally agree that the intricate details present in the piece are consistent with da Vinci's style. Having been lost several times throughout history, the painting was last purchased by Saudi Arabian Prince Mohammed bin Salman in 2017. Although it was last displayed at the Louvre Museum in Abu Dhabi, its current whereabouts remain uncertain. To Willem de Kooning's Interchange, 300 toll million. Willem de Kooning's Interchange is noted as the second most expensive artwork in the world, with a price tag of $300 million. A leading figure in abstract expressionism, de Kooning created this masterpiece during the 1950s, a period marked by financial struggles for the artist. The painting, which is currently on display at the Art Institute of Chicago, was executed using oil on canvas. In Interchange, de Kooning depicts female figures and draws inspiration from the cityscapes of New York. This artwork is emblematic of de Kooning's ability to blend figurative and abstract elements, showcasing the essence of his abstract expressionist style during that period. Three Paul Cezanne's The Card Players, $250 million post-impressionist Paul Cezanne's unique brush technique. Use of color and manipulation of light and shadow are harmoniously blended in this captivating masterpiece. Part of Cezanne's series, The Card Players, comprising five different paintings. This artwork is currently in the collection of the Qatari royal family. This iconic piece fetched a price of $250 million during its last sale, making it one of the most expensive artworks in the world. The series showcases Cezanne's masterful portrayal of human figures and atmospheric details within scenes of card games, serving as prime examples of his post-impressionist style. For Paul Gauguin's When Will You Marry? $210 million. When you look at Paul Gauguin's paintings, you often encounter a sense of storytelling. Gauguin, originally a stockbroker who turned to painting after facing failures, is renowned for creating some of the most famous paintings in the world. As a post-impressionist artist, Gauguin depicted two local women in a painting he created in the late 1800s during his time in Tahiti. The painting's title, Nafea Fa Ipoipo, translates to When Will You Marry? which stems from the custom of women wearing flowers behind their ears when they wish to marry during that period. This artwork is one of the significant pieces reflecting Gauguin's exploration of Tahitian culture and lifestyle. Currently held in the collection of an unnamed Qatari family, the painting is displayed in Basel. With a price tag of $210 million, this painting ranks among the world's most expensive artworks. Gauguin's works often delve into exotic locales and human relationships, offering viewers a rich and immersive experience. Five Jackson Pollock's Number 17A, $200 million Jackson Pollock, a cult figure in the art world, developed his unique technique by using various types of paints and splattering, dripping and spreading them everywhere with sticks without using brushes. Rising to prominence among expressionist, or in other words, abstract expressionist artists, Pollock garnered significant attention in the art world by employing the drip technique throughout his life. The artist is recognized for his works created by moving around the canvas as if dancing. The painting number 17A exemplifies Pollock's distinctive technique and is currently part of Kenneth Griffin's personal art collection. 
This artwork stands as a beautiful example of Pollock's energetic and spontaneous style, captivating art enthusiasts' attention. Pollock's works are considered powerful tools for expressing the emotions and thoughts inherent in abstract art. Six Gustav Klimt's Water Serpents II, $198 million, Water Serpents II, also known as Wasserschlangen II, is an oil painting created by Gustav Klimt in 1907. This artwork is a sequel to Water Serpents Wine and, like the first painting, it explores themes of sensuality and homosexual relationships through depictions of female bodies. What makes the painting even more intriguing is its history of being stolen by the Nazis during World War II and subsequently sold for a record price in 2013. In December 2019, the painting claimed its position as the sixth most expensive painting in the world and earned the title of Klimt's most expensive sold artwork. This piece stands as one of the most prominent examples of Klimt's symbolist style, which often emphasizes sexuality and holds significant importance in the art world. Seven Andy Warhol's Blue Marilyn, $195 million. Andy Warhol's artwork titled Blue Marilyn, also known as Shot Sage Blue Marilyn, was created in 1963, just two years after the death of the famous actress Marilyn Monroe. This piece is inspired by a photograph of Marilyn Monroe taken for her 1953 film Niagara. Blue Marilyn fetched a record price of $195 million, earning the title of both the most expensive artwork of the 20th century and the most expensive American artwork of all time. Regarded as one of the finest representations of Warhol's pop art style, this artwork holds significant importance in art history. It stands as one of the most prominent examples of Warhol's portrayal of famous figures and popular culture, garnering admiration from a wide audience in the art world. 8 Mark Rothko's Number 6, 186 Million Mark Rothko, known for his striking use of rectangles and squares in vibrant colours, is a beloved figure among art enthusiasts. This particular painting, utilising shades of purple, green and red, is highly admired like all of Rothko's works. What sets it apart is that it was acquired by Russian billionaire Dmitry Rybolovlev for a high price. Nine Rembrandt's Portraits of Martin Sulmans and Upian Kopit 180 million painted in 1634 by the Dutch master Rembrandt to celebrate the wedding of Martin Sulmans and Upian Kopit. These two portraits have never been separated throughout the years. Art experts and historians unanimously agree that these paintings should always be exhibited together and never be separated. In 2015, through a joint initiative by the Louvre Museum and the Rijksmuseum, these two portraits were purchased for $180 million, entering them into the list of the world's most expensive artworks. This acquisition was regarded as a commitment to preserving and exhibiting these historically and artistically significant pieces together. Rembrandt's works continue to be met with great respect and admiration in the art world, captivating art enthusiasts worldwide. Ten Pablo Picasso's the Women of Algiers, $179 million, Les Femmes d'Alger, version O, is a part of Pablo Picasso's series from 1954-1955, titled Les Femmes d'Alger, The Women of Algiers. This series is considered as a homage to his friend Henri Matisse. Les Femmes d'Alger, version O, is the 15th and final version of this series. For two years, Picasso's painting held the title of the most expensive artwork ever sold at auction until it was surpassed by Salvatore Mundi. This piece was purchased for $179.4 million by former Qatari Prime Minister Hamad bin Jassim bin Jabir Al Thani. It currently maintains its position among the world's most expensive artworks. Picasso's The Women of Algiers is regarded as an important piece in art history and continues to captivate art enthusiasts worldwide.